What's up guys, it's Cody with 3 Pro and Technology. So for this video I'm be going over the best direct drive 3 printers you can get or most anticipated in 2019. So if you're new to 3 printing, there's two different types of 3 printers. Well it's more than two, but the way the pigment is fed through the 3 printer, there are two different types. Got a Bowden style extruder or a direct drive extruder so for this video I've picked five of the best direct drive five of the best direct drive three printers in my opinion we haven't tested all of these yet obviously but I've only picked five for this video obviously there's more than five some of them are really popular printers like a Prisa and some of them are, I think, are more reliable than others, like Modern Price. But yes, that's only going to be five in this video. I couldn't include all of them. But I'll show you each one individually and talk about some of its main features and price points and etc. Hopefully, I'll be able to do a review on each of these sometime soon. But, anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first one, we have Bobster's Preso i3MK3S. This is Preso's newest one, and this is perhaps the most popular 3D printer on the market. That's the main reason I chose this. Obviously, mine has been terrible experience when it's not working. But when it does work, it's somewhat good. Right now, I've been using the preset i3 MK2.53 printer. So it's $750 as a kit, which you assemble yourself. Obviously, this has a lot of support in the maker community, and all of the parts are open sourced. And all these prints I'm going to be showing you are direct drive like I mentioned. So if you see in this picture right here on the extruder. That is mounted on the x-axis. When it moves back and forth it moves with it. Instead of it being mounted on the. Well most print, three prints mount them on the y. Z-axis connector piece somewhere in this area. But yeah, this is has the new filament sensor. This new one has the extrusion rods that would more be more stable and easier to assemble, easier to assemble. A lot of small updates. They added the removable heat beds. And yeah, that's pretty much what it is. The one downside is that this is a European company. So if you don't live in Europe, you're probably going to be paying more shipping cost. So for the second one, I've picked the Modern Price Maker Select Price 3 printer. In my experience, you really can't go wrong with my price. It's a company that you don't hear a lot about, but from my ex experience, they seem to be reliable printers and easy to work on. Obviously, they have more than one direct drive 3 printer, but I decided to choose this one because it's not a huge one that would take up a lot of space. It's probably about an average size comparable to the my comparable to the Prisa 3 printer. As we can see it's got a touch screen on the front. I don't think this is aluminum extrusion, but it's a somewhat metal frame to it. So scrolling down we can see a little bit more of it. 
Yeah, touch screen, right point in 10 minutes. So the drill volume is 7 and wait, 8 by 8 by 7 inches. Durable components. Heat the build plate. Cooling fans. USB and SD card reader. And they got warranties and customer service. And this is some of the other some of the other printers they have compared to it. For the third 3D printer, I've showed you the Matter Hat Critters Post 3 printer. This is similar to the Presa 3 printer, the way it's built. It has the aluminum extrusions, the rods going across and up and down both sides. Control box. LCD panel. I haven't personally used any Matcher Hacker 3D printer, but I've heard from comments on Instagram and other places that this is a comparable printer to it. I'm hoping to be test one out soon. But yeah, you can see the extruder pieces right here. So it looks like you can customize it. It's starting price $800. And it's a US based company. So it looks like it can use the flex plates and there's some upgrades you can get to it. Next printer is the Artillery Sidewinder 3 printer. I'm not 100% sure but I believe this is a Chinese company like Tevo or Isan. I've noticed them on Instagram and then I've started to see more of these on Amazon and Eric Balber type websites. So it's called the Artillery Sand Sidewinder. It's a 300 by 300 by 400 dimension model of dual Z axis, ultra quiet printing, obviously direct drive. It detects and run that. So it's got looks like a metro spool holder on top, a main re aluminum extrusion frame. The x axis is interesting because you don't usually see a lot of printers with a looks like 20 by 40. Extrusion rod and then it has this sort of black box over the extruder, which is interesting as well. Not a big fan of the ribbon cable on the Y is the axis piece over here. And then it looks like a grass bed, heat bed with the power supply being inside the bottom right here. And you can see it's a dual Z axis. I like that they included the Z axis plate with its huge rubber knobs. Makes it easier to rival. And then down here you got a tiny touch screen LCD. So I say it's quite to use, fast and precise. And some of the Specs on it. <clears throat> so interesting to see uh, it's a vol volcano hot end. Don't see many of those. I guess you can incorporate into this big of a three printer. USB stick, card. 
So this is going to be an interesting one to test out. Next one I picked is the G-Crate G-Max 3 printers. <coughs> These are really big printers. And obviously very expensive as you can tell. So I'll click on this cheapest one. But these are direct drive, so I decided to include them on the work list if in case we're going something really big or more commercial industrial use, I guess. So it has a 16 by 16 by 12 inch good volume. This is perhaps one of the biggest consumer 3 printer on the market at the moment. And this is an American made 3 printer, in case you was wondering. Print some main materials, fab with E3D, fab with most distressing softwares, and has tech support. So a dual zone heat to bed, I guess because it's so big. And again, this one's another most rate on the extrusion 3 printer. Right here it says heated if crows are not recommended for the G Max. So I don't have too much experience with this one, but for its size it looks promising. And then I know it's SMD5, but it's either Craig or more. The Fries 43 printer that's other variations of this. The Kita something, I can't remember what it's called. And you got the drill more. 3 printer and these are all similar box shaped set on the desk with a can tap 3 prints of a case that you can open up but all these types right here have two extruders as you can see and then they are both direct drive extruders. So it's a metal frame structure, cook, plastic cover on the front, and I think on the top as well. It works with two suppose. Works with ABS and PLA for manufacturer warranty. Nine by six big bomb essentially. Aluminum build plate, multi material support. So, some things now it is two extruders, so you can print two different types of film at once if you want to. And it'd probably be good for ABS since it's, it's enclosed. And you've got LCD panel with a few buttons on it. One downside is probably going to be the build volume size. If you're looking to print desktop objects, it's probably going to be fine. But if you want bigger parts, uh, probably not the printer to go with. Price is 900 So yeah, that's essentially it for this video. It's mainly just our most anticipated direct drive 3 printers or the best ones out right now. Obviously, we can't get our hands on all of these at the moment, but hopefully, we'll get some of them coming soon, either like events or upgrading some of our 3 printers. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Write me down in the comments down below which one's your favorite 3 printer off this list or if you have another one that's not on the list. 
or if you want us to test one of these out, just write us down in the comments. We'll try our best to make that happen. Uh, if you like this video and see you guys first, make sure to click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.